section 4.2. It's on parallel lines and transversals. They give you a diagram with two lines and a transversal. Remember the transversal is the line that touches the other two. That gives you eight small angles. And they classify the relationship that these angles have with each other in this box. So if you don't remember the relationships, you can always look there. That's a diagram with three lines, which is a lot easier to look at than a diagram with four lines. So in each of these, we're going to identify each pair of angles as alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior, or vertical. And what we'll do is we'll cover up one of the lines with our finger or our pencil to make things easier. So instead of having four lines, cover up one, then you only have three. So we're looking at angle 6 and angle 10. There's angle 10. There's angle 6. We do not need this line. So if you cover up that line, it makes things a lot easier to look at. Those angles, 6 and 10, are alternate exterior. Number 2, angle 14 and angle 13. So we're going to cover up that line because we don't need it. Angle 14 and angle 13 are consecutive interior. Number three, angle 14 and angle 6. I'm going to cover up that line again. Angle 14 and angle 6 are interior angles, but they're on different sides of that transversal, so that's alternate interior. Angle 1 and angle 5, I'm going to cover up that other line. That's your alternate exterior angles again. Same relationship that they had in number 1. Number five, angle 12 and angle 15. Those are consecutive interior angles. Angle two and angle 16 are vertical. Seven and eight we might not assign to you, but there's a lot of lines here, there's five lines. For which pair of parallel lines are angle one and angle four, alternate interior angles. So angle one and angle four have this transversal, that's the line that touches both of them, and the other lines that make those angles would be the top and the bottom line. So it would be line BC parallel to line AD. Number eight, for which pair of parallel lines are angle two and angle three, alternate interior angles? Well, again, it's the same transversal, but angle 2 and angle 3 are made with different lines. It's the lines on the left side and the right side. So line AB parallel to line DC.